Antiochus X Eusebes Philopator Greek Antiochos Eusebes Philopator c. 113-92 or 88 BC was a Hellenistic Seleucid monarch who reigned as the king of Syria between 95 and 92 or 89 88 British Columbia 224, Seleucid year SC. He was the son of Antiochus IX and perhaps his Egyptian wife Cleopatra IV. He lived at a period that witnessed a general disintegration of Seleucid Syria characterized by civil wars, foreign interference by Ptolemaic Egypt and incursions by the Parthians. Antiochus IX was killed in 95 BC at the hands of Seleucus VI, the son of his half-brother and rival Antiochus VIII. Antiochus X then went to the city of Aratus where he declared himself king. He avenged his father by defeating Seleucus VI who was eventually killed. Antiochus X did not enjoy a stable reign as he had to face three of Seleucus VI's brothers. Antiochus XI, Philip I and Demetrius III. Antiochus XI defeated Antiochus X and expelled him from the capital Antioch in 93 BC. A few months later, Antiochus X regained his position and killed Antiochus XI. This led to the interference of Philip I and Demetrius III. The civil war continued but its final outcome is uncertain due to the contradictions of ancient historians' accounts. Antiochus X married his stepmother, Antiochus IX's widow Cleopatra Selene, and had several children with her, including later King Antiochus XIII. The death of Antiochus X is shrouded in mystery. The year of his demise is traditionally given by modern scholars as 92 BC. But other dates are also possible including the year 224 SE 8988 BC. The most reliable account of his end is that of the 1st century historian Josephus, who wrote that Antiochus X marched east to fight off the Parthians when they attacked a queen called Laodice. The identity of this queen and who her people were are debated. Other accounts exist. The ancient Greek historian Appian has Antiochus X defeated by the Armenian King Tigranes II and losing his kingdom. The 3rd century historian Eusebius wrote that Antiochus X was defeated by his cousins and escaped to the Parthians before asking the Romans to be reinstated on the throne. Modern scholars prefer the account of Josephus and question practically every aspect of the versions presented by other ancient historians. Numismatic evidence shows that Antiochus X was succeeded in Antioch by Demetrius III, who controlled the capital c. 225 SE 8887 BC. Subscribe our channel for more such informative short video.